infection safe. Infections that you didn't start off with, but you acquire in a healthcare setting, maybe a hospital, could be a GP surgery or something like that. So if you take the figures for the US as a benchmark, there were, you could talk about 722,000 infections and uh, maybe 100,000 deaths annually from healthcare acquired infections. And, and just to give it some scale, that's uh, 100,000 deaths from healthcare acquired infections. So breast cancer in the US is 40,000 deaths a year. So it's much, twice, healthcare acquired infections are twice that. So it's a very big problem and it doesn't get enough attention. In terms of the costs to the US, direct cost to the healthcare system, it's estimated somewhere between 25 and 45 billion dollars per annum. So a huge financial cost and a huge uh, human burden as well. In terms of prevalence, about fa in, a, in an advanced economy like the US, about 5 to 7 percent of people who go into healthcare setting without an infection will get healthcare growth infection. That's pretty high uh, percentage. In developing economies, that's more like 10%. So you can see the breadth of the problem. It's not uh, limited to any particular uh, country. It's not limited to any particular types of processes. It's just by virtue of picking up infections in a healthcare setting. And so you need a fairly broad approach to deal with that.